Greetings everyone and welcome to my three reasons why I use Flutter Web for my developer portfolio. I'm going to tell you guys why for me as a developer mainly working within the Flutter framework, using Flutter Web is the right choice for my portfolio. At the same time, this video is the first of my upcoming tutorial series on Flutter Web where I will be covering all topics starting from the setup to the actual development of a website. I will let you guys follow every step of how I implement my developer portfolio with Flutter Web, hopefully inspiring you, giving you new ideas and enabling you to apply all these skills in your own projects. Now before jumping to the main topic of this video, I'd love you guys to share your thoughts with me, which of my three reasons you agree or maybe also disagree the most with. Let me know what you think and feel free to post your opinion in the comments down below. The first reason why I decided to use Flutter Web for my developer portfolio is that I don't need to set up and get to know any other framework, programming language or toolbox. Given that I'm working with the Flutter framework like 90% of my time and how easy it actually is to build your Flutter application for web, it feels like an obvious choice to use Flutter web for my portfolio. The code written is the same for mobile and for web. Hot Reload is available and most of the widgets are also supported in web, so there's barely any transition to be made from Flutter mobile to Flutter web. And at this point, I think it is definitely worth mentioning that Flutter Web obviously has some disadvantages as well, especially in terms of SEO optimization and performance compared to your standard web development kit. Yet, for me personally, these downsides don't carry as much weight, since my portfolio is simply a display of information like a business card I give to people to present myself and my work. Which is why, for example, I don't necessarily need SEO optimization to have people find me. But I'd like you guys to always keep the pros and cons in mind to properly evaluate whether Flutter Web is the right choice for you. Another important reason for me to use Flutter Web for my developer portfolio is that it is kind of authentic and consistent for me as a Flutter developer. Now let me explain that a bit. The the goal of my developer portfolio is to present myself. A developer focusing on app and web development with Flutter and all my related work. Now with my website created with Flutter Web, I can give any person visiting my portfolio a first-hand experience of my Flutter skills without even having them to look at my other projects. And this also includes a little extra bonus for everyone who hasn't got that many projects or work to show already, because the website itself is a showcase and reference of your Flutter skills. And again, now it feels kind of right for me as a Flutter developer to choose Flutter Web for my developer portfolio. Now the third and probably most important reason for me to use Flutter for my developer portfolio can be summed up with two words, additional learning. By developing my website with Flutter, I can practice and improve my Flutter skills, explore new widgets and get more and more familiar with the framework. One thing, for example, I've spent a lot of time with lately was looking at adaptive and responsive layouts, how to manage to create one single website for multiple devices and screen sizes. You play around with it, you get to know new widgets. So generally said, you deepen your knowledge and hopefully improve in the end. So these are my three reasons why I use Flutter Web for my developer portfolio. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with the points mentioned? Is there a particular point you completely disagree with? Let me know, feel free to share your opinion and also let me know if for my upcoming tutorial series there are any topics you want me to talk about in detail, any questions or anything that is unclear. Thanks for watching everyone and have a nice day.